guys and welcome back to my channel and if you are new then a big huge welcome to you. I just realised I'm filming this about nearly 9.30 at night which I know is not good for me but I had to really really film this because I really wanted to actually talk about it whilst it's still in my mind and then I'm just gonna go off to bed and just sleep. Today's video, this is something that's come up at the very last minute but I just got back from doing a rehearsal and I'm doing the play at the moment. Well it's not a play but it's it's kind of a play. It, it's still a play but I'm performing in a cast reading. So basically it's still a show and you get to do everything but you have to have scripts in your hand just in case you need them and it's not like a regular performance where you have to be off scripts together. So that's what I've done and since the actual final performance is coming up in a few weeks I'm absolutely terrified but I have enjoyed the whole process so far and I'm absolutely loving it. So today I really wanted to have a little sit down and just talk about how I would see a preparation for a show from rehearsals all the way to a performance as an autistic and epileptic actress. I've never performed in front of a television screen or for Hollywood but instead I've been acting on the stage but not on the West End stage but on local theatrical stages and to be fair though I really enjoy doing them because I'm doing something for the community just so I can help smaller theatres but also I get to make new friends and get a chance to have a little chat with people which I think is it's actually a really good experience as an actress I tend to find things very difficult but the most parts that I find difficult is the early stages all the way up to the final dress rehearsals I am absolutely terrified because I know that there is a lot of pressure to follow and I don't feel pressured a lot of time because I don't show it emotionally but physically I do because I always tend to get a very sharp pain in my shoulder and that's what causes me to have a lot of stress but in the early stages I feel relaxed I feel comfortable but then when it gets to the next part of the stages I start to really freak out because I know these are the bits where I get things wrong and I have no clue what to do about it until I I absolutely get there. In the play I'm doing I'm just really trying to experiment with things but also I'm trying to listen and considering I have been performing on the stage for about eight years, seven to eight years, I really feel that I'm still learning the ropes and I am not as confident as a lot of people would think I am. Sometimes I have big hiccups like interrupting people accidentally, sometimes I get confused and just go with different stage directions or I just remain very very silent because I know actors and actresses who have a lot of experience including some who are about my age, they they tend to have a lot more confidence and they tend to share ideas with the directors just to see what they can do and suggest ideas to many actors and actresses as well as themselves. But I tend not to say anything for most of the time because I know that for me personally I'm not a leader but I am a follower and even though I'm starting to learn the leader ropes in other places like me volunteering at the Girl Guides and doing some historical fun facts for children I feel that I just really really can't actually suggest ideas to a director or other members of the cast but I think at the end of the day I'm still trying just to see what's happening really and I know I make so many mistakes and I have to always rely on people just to help me rather than just relying on myself a bit more since I am on the autistic spectrum I find things very difficult so for example I find human contact very difficult especially when it comes to an actor who I've never seen before in real life and although most of the actors and actresses I've worked with so far they've been very friendly and very open but for me I still feel uncomfortable instead I just clung onto things for dear life I would cling onto a chair, I would cling onto my own clothes, I, I just tweak and fiddle my, with my fingers and 
yeah, it is a little bit frustrating. However, I do this because I am frightened and not a lot of people would see things like that. And I just tend to mask it and just feel very confident about it. But if I actually go to rehearsals regularly, I'll get used to it in time. But I think for this purpose, I'm still learning the ropes. And since it's a cast reading, I'm only going to rehearsals once every two weeks. So you can probably imagine how really, really, really terrifying it can really be and uh, for me it's it's something that I really want to work on just to build my confidence up and I really want to do my best because I know this show I'm actually performing in means so so much to me sometimes when I get to the show I'm absolutely okay but sometimes I manage to get a few hiccups in between and I just make a complete idiot of myself. But um, I know it's I sound very negative at this, but to be honest, I wanted to say this because I want to give you guys an insight on how an actor may feel when it comes to absolutely working through a show, trying to develop it all together before performing it in a big audience. And I know there's going to be so, so many actors and actresses, whether they are on the spectrum or not, they would feel the same really and I know I don't speak up for every everybody but every actor and actress who I've come across with has a lot of anxiety nerves stage fright etc I know that I'm really not alone in this situation but sometimes when you're autistic it could be twice as challenging as an actor who isn't on the spectrum and this is something that I really really worry about from time to time but it's if I carry on as an actor and if I grow older I may not feel that in time but I think for now it's kind of like that these things are happening really that that's all I can really say on this one but I really do have goals and I really want to improve myself a bit more but again I'm going to learn about these things in time and I think that's all I can say at the moment because I feel like I'm rambling on a lot but to be fair this is a rambly video so I really haven't got much to say on this one well not anything else to say on this one so I'm going to be drawing this video to a close I really hope to give you a little bit of an insight on to what I'm going through with my mind as an actress on the autistic spectrum and who has epilepsy but I felt like I've touched on the autism side a bit more compared to the epilepsy because sometimes nothing is perfect but you can try to make it perfect or you can make it the best you can be by trying so hard and just to come out of your comfort zone and push yourself and for me I don't feel that I have done it properly yet but I've managed to come out a few bits before but I think in this situation I still got a long way to go especially since there's longer gaps for rehearsals in between and th this is quite a challenge really but at the end of the day, I'm always up for a challenge. Yeah, I think I have rambled on for about 14 minutes, so I'm going to probably wrap this up here. So before I go, I want to leave you guys with a question. What's the most challenging thing you have done as a person, or what is the most challenging task you had to accomplish and why? It could be in the theatre industry, it could be in the performing arts industry, or it could be something else that's way, way out of the arts industry. Let me know in the comments down below I would really love to hear your stories on this so until then I hope you have a wonderful wonderful day wherever you are and as always keep on dreaming and never stop believing I'll see you very soon bye bye